His Excellency uh, Chiro Chai Pukrasin, Ambassador of the Kingdom of Thailand, esteemed delegates from Thailand, uh, private sector representatives from Thailand and Fiji, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. Bolobinaka and a uh, very good morning, as I said. On behalf of the Fijian government, I wish to extend a special welcome uh, to our guests from Thailand. It is indeed a pleasure to have you here in Fiji. I also welcome the Fijian business representatives who are here today to explore trade and investment opportunities between the two countries. Our diplomatic relations with Thailand um, has been in place for the last 42 years. And in May this year, the Honorable Prime Minister added impetus to this relationship by becoming the first Fijian Prime Minister to visit Thailand. And so we hope to build a strategic alliance with Thailand and develop a much closer relationship and trade and economic activity and investment are some of the key avenues to strengthen this relationship. The importance of the Fiji-Thai relationship has been reciprocated by the De Deputy Prime Minister of Thailand's visit to Fiji in September. And today's trade and investment mission is evidence that we are at the cusp of reaching new level of confidence amongst Thai and Fijian businesses to explore a plethora of opportunities between our two countries. Ladies and gentlemen, Fiji began charting its course uh, since the past eight years by implementing a wide range of series of reforms, social, economical, economic, political, and constitutional for the benefit and well-being of all Fijians. Fijian government through these reforms has created a sense of nationhood amongst all Fijians and a nation poised to realize its destiny as a modern and dynamic economy. There has never been a better time to invest in Fiji. <clears throat> we have a thriving democratic and politically stable environment, as well as respect for the rule of law, separation of powers, a free media, and an independent judiciary, a strong civil society, strong anti-corruption measures, and above all, a pro-business government. Furthermore, Fiji has a stable macroeconomic environment, which is conducive for private sector development and industrial growth. There is a strong legal and legislative backing for, the invest for investment protection, property rights, and environmental concerns. Ladies and gentlemen, the Fijian government is fully committed to its policy of developing new markets and forging new trade relations in markets such as Thailand in order to create new trade and investment opportunities that are mutually beneficial. The fact that today's seminar has been in initiated by the Thai government is a strong indication of the Thai business community's confidence in the Fijian economy. The Fijian economy over the past three years has grown steadily at an average rate of about 4% per year, and the recently released figures indicated that the Fijian economy grew by 5.3% in 2014, and we are anticipating an above 5% 5, 5 growth for 2015. This consistent upturn in our economy is unprecedented, and in a post-independence history, and this growth is expected to be maintained in the medium to long term, as the outlook is very promising, and the economy has remained resilient as a result of sound and stable macroeconomic policies coupled with improvement in the general business environment for private sector growth. This positive growth, ladies and gentlemen, is attributed to the booming investment which has been recorded over the last uh, over 25% of our GDP in the, in the last two years. In 2015, investment activity is expected to be around 26% of the GDP, making it the third consecutive year of investment level above 25% of GDP. This investment growth has been led by private sector investment which represents approximately 19% of the total investments. The stable growth in the economy can be attributed to the consistent pro-growth policies and initiatives of the government. The Bainimarama government has gone to great length to create a stable and conducive business environment that encourages growth and development. We provide the lowest corporate taxes, which is a flat rate of 20%, and further reduced to 17% for companies shifting their um, international or regional headquarters to Fiji, and a low of 10% for companies registering on the South Pacific Stock Exchange. Fiji also has a streamlined income tax structure and tax-free regions, offering up to 20 years tax-free benefits. The government has made land available for investment with long-term leases and has removed minimum investment requirement of $250,000 for foreign investors. The government is also making substantial investments in key infrastructure such as roads, bridges, ports, and airports across Fiji and a large portion of the 2013 and 2014 budgets has been put, uh, put to, build, to the building of roads and bridges. Good roads, easy access to market, and, and adequate port facilities are the basic necessities for the growth of trade. 
Additionally, Fiji has zero rated duties on imports of a wide range of items, including agricultural products, plant and machinery. Earlier this year, we launched a, a, the online single window clearance system for foreign investors. This is an online system that gives foreign investors a new window on Fiji, enabling investors to begin the process of setting up business here from anywhere in the world. Fiji has established an attractive trade and investment climate for potential investors, and this is evident in the robust investment spending in the first six months of the year. Cumulative to June, new lending by the commercial banks for investment purposes rose to 82.1% to $242.8 million. Ladies and gentlemen, foreign investment is an avenue through which knowledge and technology transfer and value addition is encouraged. We are able to attract investment in sectors which uh, present the best opportunity for foreign investors. As you will further explore in the course of the seminar and during your stay in Fiji, opportunity exists in information technology, manufacturing such as food processing, light manufacturing industry, timber furniture, rubber plastic and steel based products, shipbuilding, vehicle manufacturing including buses, agro processing, sugarcane, popo, taro, coconut, ginger marine products, dairy, meat, poultry and processing, tourism, hotel accommodation and renewable energy to name a few. The total value of Thai investment projects recorded in the past 10 years between 2005 and 2015 is only $3.4 million. However, the total in value investments currently implemented is $2.3 million. You would agree that there is potential to double, triple or quadruple this figure. And we see this inaugural trade and investment mission as the conduit to rekindle Thai investments in Fiji. Ladies and gentlemen, Fiji is not just the the perfect investment destination in the, in the Pacific, but it's the ideal location for trade. More and more businesses are beginning to understand that Fiji is not only a market of 850 odd thousand people, but a gateway to a market of more than 10 million people across the Pacific, or 47.6 million if you include Australia and New Zealand. Apart from being the hub and the transit point for goods, we have, a secu we have secured preferential access to the Pacific market through the MSG trade agreement, PICTA, access to Australia and New Zealand market through Spartaca, and, recent, and our, recently our access to the Australian market has been improved for the developing country's preferen, uh, preference scheme. And we also have preferential access to the European Union market through the Interim Economic Partnership Agreement. The Ministry of Industry, Trade and Tourism stands ready to work side by side with the business community in Thailand to take trade and investment between our two countries to greater heights. Currently, trade between Fiji and Thailand is on a limited and narrow range of products. However, through such business-to-business -business discussions, we can further improve it. Ladies and gentlemen, I know that Thailand is known as one of the uh, beautiful, uh, most beautiful tourism destinations in the world. However, you would agree that Fiji is also beautiful, exotic and unique. And I hope that you'll be able to sample Fiji uh, as a rest and relaxation destination and enjoy the Fijian hospitality that we are famous for also. And with those few words, ladies and gentlemen, I wish you well in your discussions today and your meetings throughout the rest of the week. Thank you very much.